Welcome to Kellis Coder. Today in the Commodore 64 assembly course, push and pull, baby. Motherfucker! So the 6502 is a bit weird when it comes to stack operations because you can only push the accumulator. And we're going to work around that so that we can actually safeguard all the registers, all the registers, all three of them before running a subroutine and when we return them we set back everything the way it was before the subroutine is called. Let's jump in. So the stack, the stack is very important because we want to safeguard all the variables or registers often used as uh, arguments variables within a function so we want to safeguard them. So let's take this code from lesson one and make the CLS function uh, safe. Then we store all the information. To prove that we store the information, let's load some characters here. Let's load A with the character B, uh, A sorry. Load X with the character B and load Y with the character C. Then we clear the screen. And then we use our newfound knowledge to store that A character in the top left corner, store the X character right next to that, and let's store the Y character to the screen right next to that. So when we are finished with our application, we should have an empty screen with the letters A, B, C in the top left. That proves that it works. Now we have a weird thing with um, 6502 assembler. You don't have a push X or a push Y. You only have a push A. So let's first save the register A. And then how can we save, for example, uh, the Y register? Well, we can transfer the Y to A and then push that again. So this saves Y and transfer X to A and push that. And usually I don't have that space in between, but this for now really shows we're pushing, we're saving A, save A, save Y, save X. And then we need to restore them. So we pull into A and that is the X. So we transfer what is in A to X. Then we pull again and then we basically pull the Y. So we transfer A to Y. And then we need to restore A. So this is restore A, restore Y, restore X. Let's run this and see if our order and logic is correct. There we go, an empty screen with A, B, C. So we actually have something here set to 32. This is uh, zero and whatever Y is, probably still three because we don't use it. But let's, for illustration purposes, set this to uh, 66. I don't even know what it is, but it still, still should be ABC. Nice. Now this code is relatively long to type every time and you may want to put this in a subroutine and call that. that. That is a bad idea because the subroutine also pushes stuff on the stack. It's, it's very dangerous. We can use macros, however, and let's use a kick assembler macro. So save reg. We have no arguments. We want to save them all. And we just copy this code 
there and usually you will put your macros of course into a file and you will import that and let's do a macro uh, restore reg you know what let's call this push all push all pop all that is more uh, akin to what we're doing. So there we go. Now we can just call these like they are functions. So before here we say push all, right? And here we say pop all. And this is why assemblers are so convenient. It allows you to write clean code. So, and run it again and we will see that we have saved everything nicely and basically what this does is this code is literally inserted in this position now usually you always want to save your registers especially with a 6502 where you have so few registers sometimes for speed sake you need to omit this and again first write code that works if you then run into performance issues then start to optimize it. Starting with optimized code is a very bad practice, generally. You better be safe here that it, this always works, and if you do this so often that you don't need it, then you copy this function and remove it, and be very aware that you actually clobber, that's what that means, clobbering registers that you think are here still set. You run a uh, subroutine and suddenly your registers behind it after it have changed that is clobbering uh, generally that's a bad idea so yeah that is for demonstration purposes set y to 66 that is basically using the stack it's a bit weird with the fact that you can only use push a and pull a but with the transfers, you can actually do the same. So there you have it. We safeguarded all the registers, all three of them, before calling a subroutine, and we used a macro for it. Kick Assembler is really great, and these macros really make your code also more legible. And the funny thing is, after 33 years of doing 6502 assembly, the order still trips me up. I need to talk myself through them in order to have them in the right order. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. But yeah, we now have a macro that we can reuse and we can continue our course. So I hope you learned something and see you in the next one.